popular alternative rock band Modest Mouse has made a very sad announcement that their founder and drummer, Jeremiah Green, has been diagnosed with stage four cancer. We're going to get into all the details of this here, guys, in just a second. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video, help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, or wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, I remind you guys to help me out here with my goal for the month of December, rapidly coming to a close, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. We have two so far, still looking for three more, again, with just a few days left in the month. More information on how you can help out with that in the description below. Let's talk about Modest Mouse, very popular alternative rock band. They've been around for quite some time now. And originally, the announcement was made here by Jeremiah Green, who is the uh, founding member and drummer of the band. His mother had released a statement on Christmas Day, on Sunday, that her son was battling stage four cancer. Now, after this announcement was put out by his mom, uh, the band themselves took to Instagram and they released a post and they said that, you know, some of you may have heard the news by now, but, you know, floating around, but we wanted to go ahead and let you hear it from our camp directly. And this was put out by uh, their lead singer and also guitarist Isaac Brock, letting everybody know that Jeremiah was in fact battling stage four cancer and he's undergoing treatment right now. He's 45 years old. Uh, the type of cancer that Jeremiah has, has not yet been released. They're not saying this, but they're saying, despite this being stage four, look, we know this is the worst, you know, it can be. But they said that even despite that, it seems like he had been responding to treatment very well. But he has been pulled for the band's current tour right now, obviously. Uh, and, um, you know, as far as when he'll be back, we just don't know at this time. But there was something specific here that, Isaac Brock said in the statement, as far as, you know, leading to what you can do to help Jeremiah here throughout his process. I'm going to get to that here in a second because it's it's got some biblical significance to it. First, guys, let me put a quick plug in here for my Patreon. You know, I got to do this being that I get no monetization on the YT platform. This is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support me and my ministry. And again, you could do it by, just, you know, five bucks a month going over to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Also, you help out here with a goal for the month of December, trying to get to five new patrons. Remember, we have two so far with the month rapidly coming to a close. We need three more. But when you sign up, here's the thing. You're going to be alerted for all my content. This is very important because YT and their alert system, if that's the only way you watch these videos, trust me, you're missing a ton of content. You want to sign up to Patreon to never miss an alert. Also, you can leave your comments on these videos completely censorship free. You don't got to worry about YT blocking or removing what you're saying. It's happening more and more now. Come to Patreon where we can have a nice free flowing discussion on these topics with no interference, no nonsense, no trolls. You can send me direct messages as well. So check it out. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. So as the post continued on here from Isaac Brock, he said that both himself and Jeremiah are firm believers in the power of positive energy and that he wants all fans of Modest Mouse to send good vibes towards the way of Jeremiah Green in his healing process. So I've talked in the past about the whole term good vibes. It's brought up many different ways, right? You got you got someone that's putting out a post on social media. They're talking about a big event they have coming up. Please send me good vibes that I'm going to do well here. Or if somebody gets sick, in the case here with Jeremiah Green, send me good vibes, okay? Or positive energy. Notice here in the post that he did not say that we are firm believers in the power of healing, or the healing power of Jesus Christ. That was not said. Not even the word prayer was said here in the post positive energy and good vibes and look positive here's the thing let me just be honest with everybody here positive energy and good vibes will not heal anybody it just won't it is only by the healing power of jesus christ that can come over you that will heal somebody even when you say pray 
who are you praying to? Are you praying towards God the Father? Or are you praying towards some other God? Jesus can do miracles, but it's important that we take our prayers before the Lord. Not by means of other energy and stuff that gets caught up in like mysticism and other gods and all this and stuff. No, but we see this so much. And, you know, it's truly sad that more people don't have a concept of who Jesus Christ is and what he can do. And so, look, as far as I go, personally, I'll be keeping Jeremiah Green here in my prayers, but it won't be through positive energy. It won't be through good vibes. It'll be through the miraculous healing power of Jesus Christ. And, you know, his mother had offered, you know, similar, you know, a type of rhetoric in her original post, also asking for people to send their good vibes. So it's just something I wanted to talk about because we see it so much in entertainment. Again, celebrities, Hollywood, all of it. Um, they don't have a concept. They don't know who Jesus is. And look, it's why I talk about these things is because I try to shed light on it. I'm trying to bring truth out there to people who may not know. You know, if I can just spark one person to come to Christ through a video that I do, that's what's worth it for me to be able to do that. So if you want to see more about the post, I'll go ahead and put that for you down below here in the description. But let me end this video on hope because that hope can be found in Jesus Christ. I do this on all my videos. Listen to me carefully. If you're watching this video right now and you're someone that has not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, I want to give you that opportunity to do so right now. Trust me, we are living in the last days and Christ is coming soon. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways again, but to turn from those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he wipes your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. As I mentioned, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for five bucks a month. Bless the ministry. Help us with our goal for the month of December. Again, trying to get to five new patrons. We've got two so far. Three more to go with the month rapidly coming to a close. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk with you soon.